This is the demo video of Amitek Antenna Training Lab ATS04 instrument which is used for taking polar plot of antennas in azimuth plane. On the front you can see a TFT touch screen, an RF output and RF input connectors. This instrument is used for 0.04 to 4.4 gigahertz. On the front main screen you can see few few options like frequency and step, RF sweeper, power meter, attenuation, amplitude modulation, pulse modulation, FM modulation and stepper motor control. Let's take a look on each options one by one. On this frequency and step window, you, two, you see two kind of objects. One is in green and otherwise in a gradient color, black gradient. The green one is on a display, it's not a button. If you press on this green option, nothing will happen. If you press on this gradient object, it's in a button, a desired option function will happen according to the specification of this button. Then there is a step size. It says frequency and a step. Frequency is in megahertz. Step size is from 1 kilohertz to 1000 megahertz. If you press the up and down button, below this frequency display object, frequency will change but the desired frequency step size. You can directly enter the frequency using the keyboard when you press on this frequency button. You can also change the frequency using this up and down buttons. Then there is an RF sweeper option. In this RF sweeper, you see start frequency, end frequency, the step time, time is in milliseconds and the step size, step size in kilohertz and this will show current frequency when you start the sweeper. If you start the sweeper, frequency step, frequency starts rolling with the desired frequency size and after every desired time interval. Let's set the frequency to 4000 megahertz. Now frequency is 4000 megahertz. On power meter option, you will see power current power level and the current frequency. Current power is shown here and the current frequency is 4000 megahertz. Memory location is zero. It shows no data is stored in internal memory of this instrument. And then there are few more options for synchronizing this instrument with internal or external frequency trigger for plotting the antenna. There is option for internal or external or frequency stepper uh, trigger. On attenuation option, you will see two buttons, high and low. If you press the high attenuation, that means power level will be low. When you press the low attenuation option, that means power level will be high. On amplitude modulation, there you will see AM frequency which is used for modulating the output. Then the duration and the number of cycles. Number of cycles and frequency will decide the duration. If we change the number of cycles, like say 10 or 100, the number of the bus duration will cha also change. Bus duration is used when you when you click on the send AM bus button. An AM bus will be sent for this particular time period. When you press on continuous AM, output frequency will be continuously modulated with a thousand hertz sine wave. On pulse modulation scheme, you will see on time for the pulse, off time for the pulse, number of cycles and depending upon the on time, off time and number of cycles, bus duration will be calculated. Bus duration is used for sending the PM burst and for continuous AM, for continuous PM, output will be continuously modulated with the PM pulse of on time and off time. 
for frequency modulation you see four options internal modulation external modulation mic or aux for internal modulation output will be internally frequency modulated with wind kilohertz signal for external you can connect an external uh, signal source from an external source for mic output will be uh, modulated with the sound wave received through the mic and the fourth option is not available in this particular option so you can see that this particular option is gray area out and the last feature is stepper motor control on stepper motor control scheme you can see the current position of the motor then a reset buttons few up and down buttons and position step size time taken for a forward step dual time number of cycles and hold time you can you can change the current position of motor using this up and down button motor will rotate in clockwise or anti clockwise depending upon the step size suppose if we press the up button motor motor will rotate in clockwise direction with the 5 degree because the step size is set as 5 degree if we change the step size like say to 10 degree and then again press the up button motor will rotate in clockwise direction by 10 degree so it says now 15 degree 5 plus 10 15 degree if you press the return home button motor will rotate to its original position and current position will be 0 degree for taking the polar plot of an antenna you can see the current memory location is 0 that means no plot has been taken earlier on this instrument so we set for internal trigger and also activated the option for auto stepper now when mod auto stepper will be start when stepper will start end point is 360 degree step size is 10 degree we change this step size to 5 degree forward time is in seconds it says 0.3 seconds then dual time dual time is 0.5 second number of cycle is 1 hold time is 0.5 second if you press the start button motor will start rotating in clockwise direction from 0 degree to 360 degree with the step size of 5 degree as we have already activated the auto stepper option in power meter so when we start the motor this instrument will start recording the power level this instrument will start recording the power level of this particular antennas current position is always shown and the current tab Now the motor has taken a complete 360 degree rotation, and current position is 360 degree. And when you go back to the power meter screen, now the memory location is screen increased from 0 to 72. That means 72 memory location, 72 power readings has been stored in internal memory of this instrument. You can take as many number of uh, plots for different antennas. We can store memory locations till 1000. it also change the power meter units
you can also change the power meter unit when by pressing on this power meter button here you will see few options like power meter unit and acquire means with the technique used for acquiring the signal we can use average or peak detect or rms acquire techniques for store, uh, reading the input signal to change power unit press on this button here you see few options a number of options for power unit you can select whatever unit you need like is like i have selected a dbm now power is shown is dbm you can always change the values now the power unit is in db microvolt to dump the memory data to uh, to take a plot you need to dump the memory data on a pc while connecting a usb cable we have connected a usb cable on this instrument to a laptop now open the emitec polar plot system on the laptop click on this button a new window will appear save the serial port select the appropriate plot in our case com3 is the port select the file system type here we have two options legacy or csv format now press on enter button again on instrument click on this memory button you have few options available here like record data dump data or clear data now we press on dump data you will again see two options legacy format or csv format make sure you select the same format on the instrument and on the polar plot software like as we have selected legacy on the software so we will select the legacy format here it says uploading data please wait now instrument will take 